Here's how to make your mobs rotate to face the direction on the y-axis. So I had an implementation, but you can see this robot in the background. He's just like twitching back and forth. It's not good. So I figured out the right way to do it. Uh, before I had all the code, I had all this code, right? I had this rotate towards motion, no y direction, right? Um, it did all this code and it was not good. Actually, this, this one line might be right, um, but this rotate towards position, not good. I, I, I did the current direction, found the target direction that you want it to face, got the Y axis, right, the one that goes straight up. Um, then I found the sine angle to the target direction from the current direction. And then we find some sort of angle step that you want to step for every, uh, every physics update we were calling this function. So you do the angle plus the angle step. And so you rotate like that. And that was not good. Not good. That causes the twitching that you saw here, where this guy twitches back and forth. So the right way to do it, which I just figured out, is if we look at this, it's very simple. Ignore, the, ignore this. Blah, blah, blah. Look, you set mob rotation on the y-axis. This is being called every physics process. You lerp the angle of the mob's rotation on the y-axis. So you lerp from this position, this, this rotation, you lerp it to the result of this arctangent squared. And it's uh, the direction that you want it to face in. That's all this is, x and the z. So you find the arctangent of the x and the z. And then you make the time. The last, the last one is the weight, right? You do this. It increments a little bit, right? So you give it the delta and then some sort of speed. I think our speed is like 8. Um, and so that's how you do the right rotations. Um, if you want to rotate towards a position, right? So you're, this first one is like if you're moving, rotate in your movement, right? Um, and so for you, you would do like velocity, right? Instead of locomotion driver dot direction, you do the direction of your velocity. I just have it in some other object. Um, but if you want to rotate towards a static position, um, you first find your target position, your target direction, which is your mob's global position, and then dir the direction to the target position that you're passing in. This is being called every physics process. And then you set the mob rotation, you do the LERP angle again, you set it from there, that angle to the arctangent in the negative direction of X and Z for the target direction. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, just copy it and see if it works for you. Uh, I will now show you it working in game on the game that we're working on. Also, check out the Godot Wild Jam. It's pretty cool. Fun game jam. Very cool. Wait for the shaders to load. And then you'll see it working. Yeah, this is something that's always bothered me. Uh, I had the hardest time figuring this out. We will see now that it's working flawlessly. No, no jittering, no stuttering, no, no flipping back and forth. That guy finds his target and he does his thing, and they're chilling. So good. Yeah, learning, learning rotations in Godot is really hard, but once you figure it out, it all works out, you know. Anyways, this is the game I'm working on right now. Check it out. Buy it on Steam sometime, and uh, stay tuned for more updates.